In this video, we will be going over on how to install your graphics card. After receiving your PC in the mail, please be prepared to set up your PC for GPU installation. Our cases vary, starting from a P360A to a Corsair 4000D, but one commonality that all of these cases have is how to remove the side glass panel. To remove, please slightly unscrew the screws from the back, simply pop and slide off the glass panel as such and place it to the side. Now you're ready for GPU installation. To begin the installation process for your GPU, make sure that the PCIe connector matches up with the PCIe slot found on your motherboard. Again, make sure that the PCIe clip is pushed down. To begin, make sure that you grab your power supply cables to get that clean aesthetic look that you got from Paradox Systems in the photos. As you are lining up the GPU into the PCIe slot, the power supply cables should hang on the right side. As you begin, you will feel the tension that is pressed into the motherboard. It is now aligned and we are about to begin to push the GPU in. If it helps, hold with one hand with your right and place your left hand on top of the case and slowly begin to push in. Now you will hear the clip when it is fully inserted as such. Now your GPU is installed. To fully make sure that your GPU is installed, you are going to have to reinsert the screws and screw them onto the left side and afterward plug in the power supply cables. In this case, you may notice that the GPU hole does not match up with the case hole, as you can see here. You may need to push in the case to make sure that the holes are aligned. Some cases may experience this flex due to the graphics card being very heavy. As such, we will now place our screw onto the screwdriver and slowly align the case to the GPU and insert the screw. Now, as we insert the screw, we can slowly see that it is aligned and that the screw is now being held in place. Now I can let go of the case and slowly start screwing in the screw for the GPU to be held down. Screw it until you begin to feel a pressure and now that the GPU is held into place with the first screw, you may begin to screw in the second one. Again, as such, simply line it up to the hole on the top and screw until you feel slight pressure. And now that you could see that the GPU is firmly held. Your GPU is now ready for the power supply cables to be inserted. As you could see, the builder had already preset the cables for you to route them into the graphics card. As you can see, for this specific model, we only need these two cables. For the first one, you will need a full four pin adapter, and for this one, you will need a three fourths of an adapter. As you can see, we could start with the three fourths, plug it in as so, and you will feel the tension or hear a clip. And now you will begin to put the second one in as well making sure that all the PCU clips are fully seated and secured into the GPU. And now your GPU is ready to be displayed for the clean aesthetic look provided by Paradox Customs and ready for use. Now that we have installed the GPU into our PC, let us now finally turn it on. Take the power supply cable that we provided you with and plug it into the computer as so. And in this case, we are using an HDMI cable to plug into our graphics card. Your monitor may defer so please make sure that you use an HDMI or display port and plug it into the GPU, not the motherboard. We will now be plugging in the HDMI into the PC. And now we will turn it on from the back and we will now power it on from the front. As you can see, the PC is now turning on and that the GPU is being provided with power and we will now wait for a display on the screen. And in the meantime, we will do the cinematic reveal of the PC. And that is how you do it the paradox way. Now as you can see, the PC is loading and it's turning on and since the computer was already dealt with before, it is normal for it to go into recovery mode and that's totally fine. Again, you would normally click and go exit to Windows 10 and your PC will be good to go. But again, here's your computer up and running, ready to go.